Well, as we're live on the air, our thoughts and prayers go out to Iowa, where two officers have been shot and killed. Police are looking for a 46-year-old male by the name of Scott Michael Green in connection with the ambush shooting of two officers. So our thoughts and prayers go out to Iowa for those two officers that have been killed in the line of duty. Well, locally here, Mercy College has a new opportunity for students to attend the college for free. Here now, tell us more about their college, or I should say the college and the new scholars program. We welcome now Andy Mantell, Director of Admissions and Recruitment. And Andy, good to have you. Thank you for having me. Good. And so let's get into this here. Mercy College has a scholars program, mm -hmm. and obviously it affords students the opportunity and um, students who might have some challenges. Yeah, so the Mercy Scholars program is a great opportunity. So the question that we all, this started from, what, what would happen if we took away the financial burden of tuition, books, and fees for our students and how would they succeed academically? So we're answering that by giving a group of students free tuition, books, and fees for four years. Uh, we just started last year. We had 26 students enter the program, and it's something we're continuing through our generous donors. So that students can go right on our mercy.edu page. You're going to see bright, bold, full tuition scholarship read right on the um, page and apply for the scholarship. It's a few short essay questions. They also come in for an interview, and we get, we're going to award it again to another 25 to 30 students, which would be a great opportunity. So walk me through this here. So if you're a student, I, and talk, not, I don't want to say walk me through this, but give me a little bit of background because you've talked about this. If students cannot make that burden, books, you know, tuition, the whole nine yards. Talk about what that does psychologically, emotionally, and what that plays in yeah. part of their education, how it plays in their education. It could cause a lot of different negative things. One thing it could do, it could lead to um, struggling in their academics, or even worse, it could lead to them dropping out of school. If they feel like they can't uh, maintain payments or afford their books, it could really reflect their retention and um, not really get them to their goal of graduation, which can entail affect their family and future family um, you know, going down the line. Mm. And so as we talk now, uh, this, the grant is made pace, uh, possible through a major donation from the Robert and Kate Nehas Foundation that launched the Mercy Scholars Program. And uh, this works well because you got students with TAP and Pell. And uh, so what happens if you have TAP and Pell? We're going to utilize that as well, but we're going we're gonna to uh, fill the gap. We're going to fill the gap for tuition. We're also going to fill the gap for the books. And we're going to fill the gap for any registration fees. And we're going to do it for the four years that the student's with us. Wow. And you said 26 to give 26? We uh, had 26 this year. We're looking for another 25 to 30 again for uh, this upcoming year. OK. And the criteria. Talk to us about that. Yeah. So this, there is um, an academic piece. So the student, we do need to check out their, their transcript and make sure that they're eligible to come. So anyone about 85 or higher, we're going to start looking at. Mm -hmm. As well as um, they do need to fill out their FAFSA, because there is some, a need component to this. And we need to make sure that we are giving the scholarship to students that truly need it. We're looking for students that are driven, that are, are um, really goal oriented and that are going to succeed and become a Mercy Scholar. And so when you talk about Mercy College, you can always find out about this foundation, uh, or I should say the Mercy Scholars Program, that's made possible through a major donation of the Robert and Kate Dehaas Foundation, uh, which gives students who are really in transition, I call it financial transition, an opportunity to uh, have uh, some much needed, some much needed help. What's the feedback you've been getting since the program has been launched? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, to, to show some of these, uh, the first group of students, we literally brought the Maverick to their high school and surprised them, and tears and hugs and a um, bunch of families just changing their lives. We had a nice scholar. They got to meet their donors at a dinner and just take pictures with them and thank them. And it was just a great event. And, and we're, we're, they're freshmen now, but we're really going to change them for next, the future. And talk about the donors. I mean, obviously, they're two very special people. And putting kids through school, assisting kids in that, in, in that kind of way, um, talk a little bit about them. Yeah, the group of donors are, are great people. Some are alumni and some just see what we're doing and want to be a part of it. Uh, a part of our mission is to help students, you know, uh, first generation students, students with that have financial need. And this group of donors is really kind of taking the handle and, and giving us this money to be able to do such a thing and put together a great program like this. So now if I'm a student at Mercy College and you're a student that's watching, I'm not a student at Mercy College, but if you're a student at Mercy College be. and you're watching, I could be, right? <laughs> yeah. I could always go back. So if, if someone's out there watching, what's the first steps that they need to do? First steps that they need to do is go right to mercy.edu. If you're interested in the Mercy Scholars program, again, you're going to see it, big, red, bold, and you can apply there as well as you do have to fill out the Mercy College application, which is right on mercy.edu. Or come see us on the Bronx campus right in 1200 Waters Place. We'd be happy to help you. So certainly come on out there and see Andy. He's the Director of Admissions and Recruitment at Mercy College. How's admissions going? So far so good. Busy. Getting into high schools. Spreading yeah. out the, the Mercy College word for uh, to bring in the next year's class. Well, that's good. Yeah. Things continue to grow. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what we want to hear. That's what we want to hear. Andy Mantell, our guest here on Open, Director of Admissions and Recruitment, talking about the Mercy College Scholars Program. And thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Continue to share that information, Definitely. and hopefully people will uh, take part.
All right, listen, we're going to stay with us because guess what? We got a little bit more show covered up. We'll be right back in just a few minutes right after this.